Good morning everyone. How are we going today? So we're shearing today. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I'm just going out to check the AI ewes which are due to lamb next week. Just check, make sure nothing out of the ordinary is going on there. And they're not all lambing today. <laughs> so yeah, they're due to, due to lamb next, well, this Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So it's Wednesday today. Um, so I'm just going around them to get them used to the ute and just have a look at them. Make sure, as I said, nothing out of the ordinary. Gonna be another good day. It's a bit chilly this morning. It's starting to get cold. Had our first frost last week. Looks like we've got a bit of an early one. Yeah, she's an AI sheep. Ba, ba, ba. It's only just been born. He wouldn't be very old, he would have been born last night. He's already up and going. a few lambs out here that were born sort of last night and yesterday. I went around them yesterday morning. I guess they're just a bit early ones. Alrighty, so we're about halfway through the first run. Just come down to let these girls out. Um, take them up there so we can shear them. What are you doing? Go back. Go back. Mm. 
Here we go. So there's about 180 in this mob we've got to do this morning and then there's 90 in these ones here. They're younger ewes and they've, they've got only sort of six or seven months wool on them. But we want to shear them to try and get them back in line with these so that next year they're all the same mob again. Then the description of the wool, so 3A is the class of wool, then FX the first cross U, and then bow number 13 we're at. Open the back up. skirting it, we're just taking a lot of the real jowly stuff out of it, around the neck and stuff. Done the ewes now. The rest of the ewes, the short wool ewes are done as well. Under a few lands now that we had close handy, so we're going to shear these. There's only 80 of them. Finish the day off. Alrighty, so there we go. Another day of shearing done. Um, just gonna let these lambs out. We're actually shearing up at another place, the other place tomorrow up at Doughboy. Um, we'll just have to let these out into a little paddock out onto the wheat tonight. Today's Wednesday, we're shearing up at Doughboy tomorrow. And then Friday we'll, we'll drench these lambs and take them down to the other place and put on the wheat down there, so. These are the girls we're shearing tomorrow, more crossbred ewes. And then next week we'll move on to merinos. Just merinos left up here and then that'll be it. That'll be all the old stock done. And then there'll just be lambs left. Alrighty, there we go. Just got back from the other place now. Um, some of you are probably wondering why why on earth we we shear them right before winter and why before why right before they lamb. And it's because for ease of lambing. So we found that they lamb a lot easier when they got the wool off them 
And by that I mean, if it gets really cold all of a sudden and, and they're having a lamb, they're, they're gonna be more likely to take their lamb to cover and in, under a tree or, or just into a bit of sheltered, sheltered area, as opposed to if they've got full wool on them, because while they'll still be plenty warm enough, they'll have, you know, they'll have four or six weeks worth of wool on them. They'll just feel the chill a bit more and they'll, they'll take their lambs into cover and providing a bit more shelter for their lambs that are, that might do it a bit tougher during the cold. That's the main reason we shear right before winter and and at this time of year, a lot of people shear in September, October. Um, some people even shear in January and just everyone's a little bit different, but that's our reasoning for it. We do still, so we've shorn, we'll be shearing about probably nearly 3,000, 3,500 ewes by the end of this, both old, older ewes and, and young ewes, lambs. But we also do shear about five or 600 in October and that we shear the pole dorsets then. So the, the, sh the sale rams, we have an annual sale every year, we shear them, which is generally about 150. And then the, then the stud ewes as well, whether that's for 400, 500, around that number. And the reason we do that then is because they lamb a little bit earlier, so they're sort of starting to lamb about, or very soon. So imagine trying to, imagine trying to drag them, them out. Some of them might be 90, 100 kilos. So if we do them in October, right after they've ta had their lambs taken off them, they're just they're a bit lighter and easier to handle. So I hope that answers a few questions maybe some of you had. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that before people think that we're, we're taking, taking, making them cold by taking the wool off them right before winter, but they'll still have plenty of wool on them when the real, like July, when it gets really cold, June, July, so. Anyway guys, that's going to be an end of another video. We're shearing up at the other place tomorrow. I probably won't film that, that's just more crossbred shearing. Um, we ended up getting about 11 or 12 bales today. But I'll probably film a bit next week when we're shearing the merinos up there, so that'll be a bit different. But anyway, I hope you enjoy that. Any questions, just put them down below. And um, with that, we'll catch you in the next one. Alrighty guys, see ya. Bye. This is the good life.